yo dudes, good morning, how you doing? Um, yeah, today we're gonna be carrying on with the Sora. I'm actually off to Garage D in Watford to see uh, Julian and Dara. They've kindly got a, um, a clutch slave cylinder for me put aside. So yeah, I'm gonna go and pick that up and maybe grab a few more bits. I need to get a boot for the um, for the for the tie rods. I need to get an anti-roll bar drop link and I need to get a few camera bolts as well. So yeah, hopefully they've got a few bits in stock. Um, yeah, we should be down at Garage D in about, well, 10, 10, 15 minutes. And then yeah, in about an hour and a half back to Scouse's. Uh, but yeah, see you boys down there in a bit. Peace. Let's rock the beat. The boys at Garage D always look after me, so I've gone and bought them a shitload of biscuits. Waitrose biscuits, only the best will do, nom nom. Right, here we are at good old Garage D. Very famous, very famous garage. Right, let's park up and go and get these bits. Right, happy days. Garage D to the rescue, as always. Yeah, massive thanks to, to Julian and Dara. They always look after us. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Thanks, boys. So we have a new boot cover for the um, inner tie rod, nom nom. We've got some new or used rear anti-roll bar drop links. Got two of those. And then we've also got a lovely new clutch slave cylinder. So now I might actually have a clutch and I can actually drive the car. Yeah, we are all good to go. I'm now gonna head down to Scouse's, get back on the old M25, and we shall see you down there in a bit. We're down at Carso Performance, Scousey. I do Look what we got here. So yes, while I've been at Garage D, Scouse has very kindly removed the old works, XD9s. Some of you guys will probably know I've actually sold the works to a, a nice chap, actually one of my patrons called um, Jeremy. He's in France, he's, he's bought the XD9s. And now we've got the CSTs from the Sora on the S14. And I must say, it looks pretty sick. I'm actually half tempted to keep these wheels on it. I think it, they really, really, really suit the car. I'm not sure on the clearance here, I might need to get a slightly wider fender because I do want to run the, run the semi-slips in the front. But yeah, these look really nice. They are extremely scruffy and they do need a really good refurbish. But luckily we have Mr. Adam on hand to make him look pretty again. But yeah, this is the old Christmas car. I'm just going to start removing the lights because it's way well past the 5th of January and I think you're meant to remove your Christmas decorations by the 5th. Um, so yeah, going to crack on them, take the lights off. Christmas car isn't looking so Christmassy anymore. Finally, it's left a little bit of residue, but yeah, I'll get my get my guys on it pretty soon. But yeah, she's looking pretty cool. I'm just gonna take her around the block and get a little snap for Instagram. Yeah, the wheels are looking pretty horrendous. These are the wheels off the Sora, but we will get them refurbished so they'll look lovely and nom nom. So I've popped the 14 up. Me and Scouts are gonna crack on with that in the next sort of couple of weeks. Got quite a few bits to do on that. But yeah, main focus now is to carry on with the Sora. Um, as you guys know, we didn't fit the fiberglass fenders, A, because the fit is terrible, and B, they're not actually any wider than the stock wings, so completely pointless. We've got Mr. Scouse over here, just finishing up the wiring. He's done a very neat job, if I must say. Got the parts that we got from Garage D earlier, so we've got the clutch slave cylinder, the boot, and the anti-roll bar drop links. Oh! oh. Yeah. Monkey dog. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! So the last piece of the puzzle is relocating my coolant overflow bottle. It was cable tied where the light bar is, but now we're going to have to do a bit of relocation. Mr. Scouse is just making a custom bracket for our, our overflow bottle, which will be nice. At least it won't just be hanging out the front like it normally is, <laughs> flapping about. We've also got Muzzy's pretty nom nom PS13 convertible, running some pretty nice SSRs and a lovely SR20. 
and in the corner, if I can get past Scouse's bum, is Scouse's car. We did one episode on this car about a month ago, but yeah, since then Scouse obviously started his own business, he's been mega busy. And um, yeah, this is his beast. Nice to see it in the workshop and not in a chicken hut. Quick look inside, so any of you guys that haven't seen it, it's got a really, really nice Nixon, Nixon motorsport cage. Lovely bit of gusseting. Yeah, it's very neat and tidy in here. Pretty much where I want to get my, my S14 to. Yeah, look forward to seeing this one out and, out and about. Bye guys, bye, love you lots. Bye Peach. <laughs> God, that's fucking mad, look, we got like, we got some wasps, or some bees, I think they're bees, nesting in my uh, LS400 brake discs. While Mr. Scousey makes up the bracket, I am a qualified cable tie engineer, as you guys know, and I'm gonna go around and make this splitter look slightly more attractive because it keeps falling off. See, I'm literally just gonna do what I've done here, drill through, and yeah, make, some, make it a bit more secure. All right, so that's the front splitter is all nicely fitted. Obviously, it's filthy, I need to give it a really good clean, but yeah, lots of cable ties holding it up. A lot neater than how it used to be. I'm sure it'll probably fall off on the first drift day, but fingers crossed. Scouse has made up a really nice bracket for the overflow bottle, so that's out the way now. Sitting pretty. And as far as the light bar install goes, I think we're near enough. Done. Done. That is the light bar all connected up and ready to, ready to rumble. As you can see, it's all been nicely cut out behind the bumpers. Yeah, it's looking pretty sick. So I've got the, got the app up here. What I didn't show you guys yesterday is you can actually do like a strobe effect as well. So we've got purple at the moment, so all I'm gonna do is push that up right to the top. Got mega strobe, medium strobe, <laughs> and then baby strobe. What else we got? Why? Oh, this is, this is the strobe band, Jesus. Do a bit of a dance. <laughs> that is the light bar installed. Sweet. Just gonna get the car in the air now and do the, we're doing diff pushes today? What time? Maybe, maybe diff pushes. We're gonna do the clutch slave cylinder and the rear anti-roll bar drop links, nom nom. This is my old slave cylinder. As you can see, it's actually, part of the bracket's actually broken off up there. So there's loads of, well, you can see quite a bit of play in it. So yeah, we're gonna f that off and put the new one on. So we're just removing the um, inner tie rod so we can put the boot back on. At least give it a bit of protection. Always important when you're going over Gravel, that's great wrist action. There we go, one boot kindly supplied by Garage D. Let's get the slave cylinder out of the way. It's definitely seen better days. Oh yeah. Cool, right, that's the old slave in the bin. So yeah, Scout's just gonna run a, uh, a tap through the thread because it's not a thread anymore. Why is that, Scout? Um, Excessive clutch kicking. No. <laughs> Granny shifting. <laughs> Shut up. That's the new slave in place. Hopefully now the clutch comes off the floor. Sweet, we are all good to go. The clutch slave cylinder is in place. We're just gonna bleed the clutch now and see what happens. Me and Scouse are now gonna bleed the clutch. I am the designated pumper. Pump it. <laughs> All right, jump in the car. The scouts is just chucking me in the air so we can start pumping the uh, clutch pedal and bleed the clutch. Obviously got my cube short shifter. I am literally so excited to use this. I can't wait to have a nice working gearbox again and this is really nice and sturdy. So yeah, looking forward to smashing that one out. You've got a good view up here. What are you doing, Ad? Cable time, Mike. It's like cable time mafia in here. Down. Up. Yeah, I'll do it with my foot. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Right, let's fire her up. Say. <laughs> yeah. Great, first is good, second, third, fourth, fifth. Sweet. Got stuck in fourth, so um, I'd say that was a result. <laughs> the car is looking in a, a lot, lot better state. We still need to tidy it up, it still looks a little bit un untidy, but yeah, mechanically speaking, it's coming on pretty nicely. 
Um, we're not going to do the diff bushes today. I've actually got a rad turning up in the next sort of a week. Should be sort of four or five days. So yeah, me and Scouts will do the diff bushes and the rad all together. And once that's done, um, yeah, ready for ready for a fat skid, pretty much. We're just going to get the wheels back on the car and yeah, get the car off the ramp and then. Go and have a look at this sexual light bar. Scouts just very skillfully removed the dents. We now have a perfectly flush roof. Give it a Sickest thing I've ever fitted to this car. Love it. Cycled through a few more colours. God, it's so bright, isn't it? Jesus. Yeah, that is cool, man. It's like a pop of beam. Yeah, it's like a yeah. disco. Yeah. Put the, just the main brightness on, just so we can show them how bright it is. So yeah, it gives you turn. Turn it off, Scouse. Now turn it on. Yeah, that is a. Uh, that's better than any HID. Yeah. It's probably might blind everyone when you're driving around, but yeah. Sick. Yeah. Just doing a little test. We got we got Eddie Eddie driving the saw up. That is so bright. That is so awesome. Yeah, boy. What saw of power feel like? It's nice, man. <laughs> it's Shift is lovely, isn't it? Yeah, man. So yeah, this is Gareth's very very sexual S14. What wheels are they, Gareth? VFs. 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 Yeah. Very nice man, very very clean car. This hopefully coming to the channel soon. Proper night rider that isn't it? It's like kit kit mark two. Yeah. Kit on a bad hair day. I want this car in my life. So nice. We are all good to go. So yeah, massive, massive thanks to Orcs Beam. Highly recommended by Monkey London. Yeah, that really is a sick bit of kit, so massive thanks to them. Um, we will be back down with Scouse in about two weeks to do the rad, no, in about a week to do the rad and the diff bushes. In the meantime, we're gonna crack on with the S14. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give us a like, put any comments in the comment section. Peace. Um.